Okay, now I want it. I want you to see that uh, everything seems to be set up properly, and um, I don't find any unusual vibration at all. It seems to be very smooth, and so far, I'm extremely happy with the uh, with the build and how um, everything has gone together. Okay, now I'm going to balance the um, rotor blades. And to do this, I'm going to use a very simple tool. I think I got it from Hobby King. But it's a um, airplane propeller balancer. And some CD-ROM cases. And a piece of tape. Packing tape. Well, here it is, um, my Copyrex 450 Pro with a, uh, yep, 45 amp speed controller, some uh, Turnigy uh, digital Metal Gear servos, and it's pretty much stock except for I put some uh, white aligned blades on the tail, and eventually I'll put on some different uh, rotor blades because I'm actually going to make this a uh, four blade scale uh, model whenever I get a chance. But anyway, there's the, uh, the Copter X CX2000 mounted on the, on the uh, tail boom, uh, the anti-rotation bracket. Um, so, I haven't flown it yet, so let's see how this thing does. With the now, I have done some gyro configuration. Remember, if you remember um, early in the video, 
when I was building this um, helicopter, I uh, set the agility down, I dropped it down to 30, I dropped the cyclic gain down to 30 because this is a digital servo, and I found that 30 works pretty good to start with, and 20 works pretty good for analog. Um, I've got the, so the agility is 30, the gain is 30, the tail rotor, yaw, left and right gain is 30, um, and the overall gyro gain is 100 in the gyro. And then I set it on my DX6 there to uh, adjust as needed. So I've got it right now set at like 65 on my transmitter. And it shows up around 30 or so on the monitor in the PC software. Um, all right, let's get started.
Okay, um, today uh, I took the uh, 450 Pro with the uh, 3X 2000 gyro um, out for the maiden a maiden flight, and uh, I was pretty happy with the way it flew. But of course, that was just the base um, set up for the gyro. Now I was wanting to make a couple of changes um, to it. I felt like um, the rudder was a little slow, um, kind of soft. Um, I think I would like to make the uh, tail uh, stop a little faster. So I want to adjust the uh, deceleration and um, maybe the, the yaw rate. But the main thing, uh, aside from that, this time I want you to notice in Iharobo, um, the Coptrex um, programmer software is okay, but um, this user on RC Groups called John NC has done a very good job of making his own software, and I was hoping that that would show me a little bit about him, but it didn't. But his user is John underscore NZ, and uh, this is his software, and it's what the uh, Copterx and probably the the Tarot uh, CYX software sh should be more like. Um, so um, I wanted to show this to Hirobo so they could see that um, the user interface. Is a lot better than the software that that they provide for use for programming the uh, 3x 1000 and 3x 2000. And even though this is the 3x 2000, we all know that it's it's a uh, I guess a new updated um, processor hardware um, underneath, but it's still. A, um, the same type of firmware and everything as the 3X1000. Um, and as such, uh, John and Z's software works just fine to program the uh, 3X2000. Okay, you see that um, there are my agility and now, the cyclic gain was okay, uh, no jump shaking or anything like that, so I want to try going to 32 with it, and we'll see if it shakes at 32 the next time I take it to, to give it a test, and if it does, I'll try 31, and if it shakes then, I'll just go back to 30, because I know that 30 does not shake. The, as I mentioned, the tail was a little slow, so I'm going to try 35 this time, the next time I go out. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to change? Oh, maybe the uh, deceleration for the tail. Um, The, um, the rates oh I wanted to point out one of the things that I like um, about the uh, John NC software is that you can actually type things in to the box right and you don't have to do so much with the sliders like you do on the uh, on the uh, Copterx software. Yeah. Um, let's see if there's anything. Oh, um, 
one of the other things I wanted to change was that um, I felt like the collect, um, not collective, but the uh, Swatch Travel for Delron and Pitch was a little slow, soft, so I want to increase that just a little bit. And um, next time, um, I was happy with Collective, where it was. That seemed to do just fine. Okay, so I've made a couple of, a few adjustments, not a couple. Uh, increased my gain from 30 to 32. Um, I increased my yaw rate. And then I went over and increased my deceleration um, to kind of make the tail hopefully a little crisper. So I'll try it, and if I don't like it, then I'll come back and make some more changes. But, um, oh, and the other thing that John NC software lets you do is you can compare conditions and you can see that the default of 40 and, and I have I was using 30 but now I'm using 32 um, the default um, agility is you know 45 and I'm using 30 um, lots of things but but you can compare your conditions and some people seem to think that uh, it can change conditions mid-flight so it's important to have both conditions the same that's when why you would use that but I use it more to keep like a record of my settings so that um, if I make a change and I want to go back to what I had before that I knew was working um, I don't have to write it down or anything I just put it in that condition to setting and then if I want to go back or um, look and see what it used to be I just do that compare conditions and uh, and I can see what it was before okay we are done